One, one of our challenges over the next couple of days is we, we have people who've come here from all over the world. Thank you very much for, for, for being here uh, with all the snow and weather that uh, has beset us uh, uh, here at the last minute. Actually, June Mirai from uh, Japan was caught in a snowstorm at uh, Narita Airport in Japan and so won't be able to join us till later today. And I'm sure that there will be people trickling in as well. We wanted to keep this, uh, this convocation as small and focused as possible uh, to see if we could uh, actually make some headway. And, and to remind you of the, uh, of the objectives uh, that were set forth by the conference committee, uh, we talked about wanting to identify opportunities for collaborative research to determine uh, you know, what the core, core research components of some of these opportunities might be and uh, uh, use these sessions that we have today uh, to begin a sort of a technology road mapping process that we hope to follow on uh, with subsequent events uh, uh, at, uh, uh, leading out of here, which we'll share with you uh, more on tomorrow. But so uh, first I'd like to uh, welcome you on behalf of MIT and the Auto ID Labs here at MIT, who's the host for this event. Uh, my name is Steve Miles. I'm a research engineer here at the lab and am the uh, conference committee chair for, uh, for this gathering. Uh, I'd like to just give you a, an overview of what's, what's happening over the next couple of days so you can visualize the, the agenda, and, and then also uh, thank some of the people uh, who are here with us today without whom uh, this event uh, couldn't have happened. So um, I guess first to start with the, with the thank yous, there's a conference committee that was very much created ad hoc, people who knew people who were leading researchers in this area. Uh, and uh, out of that, that conference committee, there are half a dozen, dozen key contributors who are here who I'd like to acknowledge and maybe ask you to stand as I, uh, as I say your name so that people can see who you are. Because again, th these are good collaborators. These are people with whom we've established uh, and be begun, begun to think of ways that we can work together. So Dr. Bill Hargrave from the University of Arkansas. Bill, are you here? And uh, Dr. Giselle Bennett from uh, Georgia Tech. W stay standing because I'm going to ask everybody to applaud. When the, but so uh, <laughs> Jean-Pierre Raymond, right? Jean-Pierre? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Dr. Rob Clark from MSU. Uh, Dr. Dimitris. Kersitis from EPFL in Switzerland. And, and actually uh, a, a non-academic, but who was the person who gets the credit for, for the idea of this convocation, Mark Roberti from uh, RFID Journal. So this group of people has been very instrumental in putting together the speakers. Please acknowledge them. And then there's a second group that's really the core group of academic collaborators who had an equal share in putting this event together and who you will hear from today. Those of you who don't know them, again, we'd like to recognize them as a group. So Dr. Elgar Fleisch from the University of St. Gallen and uh, Duncan McFarland from Cambridge University who's represented by Alan Thorne today. Is Alan here? Uh, Dr. Jun Marai of Keio, who is in a snowstorm, but is represented by Shigeyu Suzuki. Uh, uh, Dr. Hao Min of Fudan University. Uh, Dr. Peter Cole from the University of Adelaide. And Dr. Sang Lee of the Information and Communications University uh, in Korea, the latest addition to the Auto ID Labs family, together with uh, John Williams, who's the director of the Auto ID Labs here at MIT. So a hand for. Uh, So, so this group has been working together now for several years, uh, looking at ways to collaborate to meet some of the uh, some of the opportunities uh, that result as a, uh, that, that come from the adoption of RFID. And then finally, we have uh, uh, graduate students here at MIT who've been instrumental in, in putting this event together. Is Alki Deliciosis here? Alki may be out front, but she gets the credit for the logo, for the. <laughs> The, the posters out front and has organized a series of fun demonstrations uh, of RFID technology at the MIT Museum tonight for the reception. And uh, Sri Ram Krishnam on AV, uh, doctoral candidate in the program here, together with Sivaram, whose last name I won't try to pronounce. <laughs> uh, and he's been the volunteer coordinator. So thank you very much to, to, that, to that group. Yeah. 
So, so just briefly, the outline for the day, uh, John Williams will introduce our keynote speaker. Uh, following a break, we will then go into sort of this morning the horizontal technology session. So a session on the network technology related to RFID, a session on the tag technology, and a session on the RF and the utilization of RF as we look, uh, you know, out in the, in the 10 years to come. And then in the afternoon, we move right into sort of industry applications for RFID focused around uh, research areas that have been brought to the various labs around the world. Um, so starting with anti-counterfeiting that is led by Dr. Elgar Fleisch, which is the flagship product uh, or project for the Auto ID Labs collaboration. But then uh, uh, an initiative led by uh, Alan at the, the University of Cambridge in, uh, in aeronautics. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar with this opportunity, Boeing and Airbus have decided to, to redesign their entire supply chain more on the order of the, uh, uh, on the model of the automotive industry where they'll be able to, uh, to exchange sub-assemblies and there's a requirement for an active tag to go on those sub-assemblies so that a Boeing shop might, might exchange a sub-assembly with an Airbus customer. And for that to occur will clearly involve uh, university research and aircraft parts manufacturers throughout the world and will require a response from the academic community that's far more coordinated than what we've done in the past. And from, from aeronautics, we go into automotive, and then we're very privileged to have uh, uh, the Vice President of Johnson & Johnson, who's put together, together with the EPC Global uh, uh, Healthcare uh, uh, Life Sciences Coordinator, a program on, or a session on healthcare to conclude the, the, the day. And then at, at five o'clock, we will um, move up to the MIT Museum for reception and a, a time to meet one another. And also, please take a chance to see the half a dozen demos which are, which are there uh, showing uh, different applications for RFID. I believe one of which has a, is an espresso machine which recognizes your taste in coffee by your, by your cup, as I understand it. And then uh, uh, tomorrow we, we have a, a, a very extensive uh, session in, uh, in uh, supply chain and then packaging. And uh, uh, after a, a, a light box lunch, box lunch, we'll reconvene for applications for RFID beyond the supply chain, and then a concluding panel uh, with some of the executives uh, who are here. And, and part of the format of each of these sessions is to give academics, no more academics, no more than 10 minutes to talk about really what's key in our research, and then to get some feedback in each of the sessions, both from industry panelists and from the audience as to the applicability, utility, and possible direction uh, for, for that, uh, that research. So are there, are there any questions about the logistics? There was one question, bathrooms are located that away. Uh, for lunch, we are going to walk to the other side of Mass Ave to the student center. And so we might, we might try to do this through the buildings to stay dry. We'll see how, how the uh, weather holds up. Um, but if there are no questions uh, 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 about logistics at this time, I'd like to hand the uh, convocation over to Professor John Williams, who's the director of the Auto ID Labs here at MIT. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, I want to welcome you all here to MIT on this kind of uh, typical uh, Boston day. Um, I often wondered why MIT got so much research done until I moved here and then I began to understand that in the winter you're basically locked in. Um, there's nothing to do except research. So that's the explanation uh, why MIT uh, is pretty innovative. I'd like to thank Steve, uh, Miles especially, for putting this on. Really, it's been his effort, uh, along with the organizing committee. Um, but he's done a tremendous amount, so I'd like to give a, a, a hand to Uh, before I, wel we uh, I welcome uh, our, our first speaker, um, I'd like to just remind you, I think, how important this is, that in the Auto ID Labs, uh, this uh, consortium of seven labs, we got together um, as uh, a consortium with the goal of architecting the Internet of Things. And when you talk about the Internet of Things, it's really an infrastructure that's going to have to last a hundred years, if you think about the railway system, the power system, um, 
our water supply systems. These are infrastructures that uh, support society and are going to have to last. I worry that about this infrastructure, that we need to think seriously about it, that it's not just fast-moving consumer goods, it's, it's going to be knowing what, what something is, where it is, when it's there, and why it's there. And this is going to be tremendously important that we future-proof uh, this architecture. And I think that's the goal uh, of this convocation, is for us to identify the research that's necessary so that this infrastructure will survive. So I think it's tremendously important that we think about that, that this glo it's a global infrastructure. It's cross countries, cross boundaries. It's going to be incredibly difficult to do that. So we're very fortunate today to have uh, one of the founders of our FID, Professor Sanjay uh, Sharma here, uh, who's going to tell us um, about research in RFID. Uh, so I'd like to welcome him and welcome you all to MIT.